Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to yet another episode of Akhil's and Sana's Kitchen. Welcome back again, guys, to yet another episode. Um, I see very interesting ingredients uh, in front of us today. Some looks slightly Asian. Uh, I don't see any non-veg, unfortunately. Uh, so, Sana, what are we going to make today? Yeah, so as you guys know that it is starting to get cold since winter is approaching and we thought of making something that is comfortable to eat during the winter which is basically like a ramen type of dish and it's a little tinge of like Thai as well so it's Thai red curry noodles mm. so uh, it's basically like a red curry base with some noodles into it so it's kind of like a ramen red curry so we're really excited to try it out with you guys and let's see how it goes and I know that Sana loves red curry. It's one of her most favorite mm -hmm. dishes. Um, if we are able to pull this off, I think Sana will be very, very happy. Yep. Uh, which will make me happy. So let's go for it. For this recipe, we're going to take noodles. This can be any of your choice. Some pepper, chili powder, salt, some garlic powder, some ginger paste. Uh, coconut cream, basically it's like any type of coconut milk. Um, organic tofu, we're using the firm one because it's just easier to cook it. And then some peppers and the main ingredient which is red curry paste. And this is from Thai Kitchen. So I'm just heating some oil in a pan and we're just going to lightly fry the tofu so it's not flimsy in the soup. So I'm just going to drop in all the tofu. So while the tofu is frying, I'm just going to go in with like our spices um, and salt and everything. So I'm just going in with salt. And you can take one teaspoon of all the ingredients. This is garlic powder. Um, chili powder. And some pepper. So you can see our tofu is nicely fried. And now I'm going to trans transfer the tofu into a plate. So we've put the tofu aside and now we're going to get started um, to fry the peppers and you can just use the same pan since everything's going to go in here anyway. Just drop in all the peppers. So I've just put our little space in between the peppers because now we're going to go in with some ginger paste. And now we're going to go in with the red curry Paste and I just put around two uh, teaspoons of the paste and I'm just going to mix that all up. Since our uh, peppers are nicely fried, we're just going to go in with our coconut cream or coconut milk at this point and just pour it all in. And just give it all a nice stir and let it cook for about five to ten minutes. So now since our curries um, cooked for around 5 to 10 minutes, we're going to drop in the tofu that we just cooked into this mixture. And let it all simmer up together and all those spices will blend in with the coconut milk and we'll just give that really nice flavorful red curry. So now we're going to start cooking our noodles and I've just dropped it in some hot water and we're just going to let that cook and we'll show you how it looks like. So now we have our red curry transferred into a bowl and we also have our noodles nice and drained out and we're just going to drop it in to the bowl and then give it a nice stir. So finally we have our 
red curry soup ready. It smells amazing. I think we've made a red curry chicken before. Chicken before. Yeah. It smells very similar, uh, but it looks much better this time. Um, what do you feel? Yeah, I think it's a different dish because again, it's uh, made with tofu, so it's no, it is uh, vegetarian, mm -hmm. and it's with noodles. So it's like a noodle soup kind of thing. So I'm really excited to taste test. Let's do it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the taste of coconut milk is really, really good, mm -hmm. and the red sauce obviously is is an all-time favorite. And I think the tofu. Let me taste some of the tofu and see. Mm. Even the to tofu is absorbed. All the flavors so beautifully, and the peppers have also given it that tinge, which makes it so good. I'm yeah. very happy. You know, it's amazing with the noodles. It's, mm -hmm. it's basically like ramen but with red curry. So it's like you can't get, go wrong if you love Thai food and ramen at the same time. This is perfect, perfect uh, soup and very healthy. So yeah, very glad we made this. So thanks again, guys, for joining in on yet another episode. As always, we really appreciate your love and support. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to check out our website. Akhilansana.com. Um, until the next episode, uh, take care, guys. Okay. Bye -bye.